what do you find a mystery in life? How do you deal with the fact it's a mystery to you? How do other people deal with mysteries? One way is through creativity. In this video we will explore the concept of the mystery of God through works of art. Can you think of any artwork you've seen that reflects the idea of the mystery of God? The picture you can see on the screen was painted by Italian artist Michelangelo in the Sistine Chapel around 1511. It portrays God and Adam, following the Christian tradition that God created Adam. Look closely at the image. What do you think it's trying to portray about God? What about Adam? What message do you get from the image? The Christian tradition has not been shy about portraying God in works of art. Pause the video and search for images of God in Christian art. You will find a whole range of different depictions of the idea of God. You will also find many different representations of Jesus, who for Christians is God in human form. The fact that no one knows what Jesus actually looked like has not been a barrier to depicting Jesus in art. Now pause the video and search for images of God in Muslim art. What you see is very different. Why do you think that is? People have portrayed God in visual arts for many different reasons. Some images, such as icons in the Catholic tradition, are used to help believers focus on worship and prayer. What do you think religious believers see or feel when they look at the icons on the screen? What does it tell them about God? The images now on your screen may be familiar to you. They are the stained glass windows from St. Monica's Cathedral in Cairns. These windows are a very modern type of stained glass window and are different to those you find in older churches. They do not try to represent God through human form, but through the whole created world. What do you see in the windows? What's the designer trying to show about God? The windows on the screen are called the creation windows. You can hear an audio commentary about them on Cairns Diocese website. They're inspired by the scripture. From the beginning till now, the entire creation as we know it has been groaning in one great act of giving birth, and not only creation, but all of us who possess the first fruits of the Spirit, we too groan inwardly as we wait for our bodies to be set free. From the Book of Romans. The other stained glass windows in Cairns Cathedral are called the Peace Windows. What do these windows say to you? The two on the right depict something very different from the larger image on the left, which you can see if you're standing at the altar looking towards the doors. Jewish synagogues also make use of stained glass windows, however these often depict Jewish symbols like the Star of David and the menorah, rather than images of God. They may also represent parts of the Torah, the Jewish holy book. The artwork on the screen depicts the Shema an important part of the Torah. This is one of the most important pieces of scripture in revealing the nature of God. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. How is this represented in the artwork? You can also see Hebrew text in the art. Pause the video and search for God in Jewish art you find a range of different images. When you search for the way God is portrayed in Muslim art, you will have seen many examples of calligraphy. You will not have seen any human forms, as Muslims do not depict God in human form, and there are no representations of God in a mosque, which would be decorated instead with calligraphy and patterns. This is so Muslims focus on the reality of God and not any physical qualities. Allah cannot be depicted in imagery. However, one of the hadith, the sayings of Muhammad, 
is that Allah is beautiful and loves beauty, so Muslim art often aims at beauty. The geometric shapes are believed to represent the essence of the world rather than its particular forms. Islamic art is aimed at bringing the worshipper closer to God. Hinduism is probably the religion with the most visual imagery depicting ideas of God. Hindus believe in one eternal God, Brahman, represented by many different gods. Each of these gods reveals something of the essence of the one eternal God. You can see an image from India on the screen of many Hindu gods. You'll see a rich variety of different images if you search for images of God in Hinduism. Each is traditionally depicted in a particular way to represent something about the nature of God. Although there's not one singular belief system of all indigenous people, there are some common ideas across indigenous Australian groups. One of these is that the spirit of gods can be represented by physical features of the landscape. For example, a depression in the ground might represent a footstep of a god. A common indigenous story of creation is the dreaming. To the Chabukai people of the Cairns region, this creation story is known as story waters. Buluru is the ancient created deity of the Jabukai people, the spirit of creation. The greatest spiritual ancestor of these people is Guju Guju, who is said to be able to transform into physical deities. One of the ancestor gods is Buraji, the giant carpet snake, which is represented on much artwork from the region and is painted on the Cairns to Kuranda tourist train, as you can see on the screen.